What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the Fallout 4 crashes. Um, this works for the pirated and Steam version as well. So the first step you're going to want to do is right click Fallout and hit Properties. Go to Local Files. If it's a fresh install, don't worry about this. If it's not, go ahead and verify. This could take a little minute. And next step after that is Browse Local Files. If you have the pirated version, simply just find where you installed the game at and open the folder. Both for Fallout 4 and Fallout 4 Launcher, you're going to want to right click, run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7 as well as Admin, and do the same. Alright, once that's done, you can go ahead and exit this out because Unlike every other tutorial that tells you to edit some of these files and go through the settings, it's pretty much all bullshit, it doesn't really do anything. Um, the second step would be hitting play on Fallout 4. Alright, so now that I'm in options, I'm going to go ahead and explain this as well. Uh, before you do this, you need to update your GPU and CPU drivers. I'm not even going to show you how to do that because it's literally that simple. Just go on Google. Type whatever brand GPU or CPU you have and then type the word drivers download after that. Open their actual page, not any third party pages, and there should be an automatic browser tool that will literally search your computer from the browser and find the most updated driver. So once you've done that and restarted your computer, go back to the launcher and hit options. And I have a GTX 660 Ti with an i5-4690K, so it's not that bad of a setup, but it's still bad enough of a setup for the Fallout 4 game for the PC. So literally the next best step is to just simply tone down the settings. Um, I've tested every single setting and view distance does absolutely nothing for the crash. These settings here are absolutely perfect for crashes and that also includes unchecking motion blur. Now if you have obviously um, lower end products that are even lower than the GTX 660 or lower than the i5-4690K you can go ahead and just put low on all these and off for these as well. Um, I put my filtering to four samples the anti-aliasing to FXAA and obviously my native resolution because I'm not about to play the game in anything lower. Um, putting it in window mode or borderless mode, like people say, doesn't really do anything. Um, I haven't seen any increases or decreases in crashes or anything like that. And the final step is to download and install MSI Afterburner, which I will have a link in the description. And what this tool does is it's basically a GPU overclocking tool, but that's not what we're going to be using it for. We're actually going to be using it to set the fan speed. Um, so once this is open, you're going to want to look at fan speed. Make sure this is on auto and hit the little settings next to it. And the fan, make sure that this is checked. And what you're looking at here is a graph. So the bottom is temperature in Celsius and the fan speed from 0 to 100. So leave everything here alone and just worry about this. So I've actually tested this and when it reaches exactly 80 degrees Celsius is when the game just randomly crashes. There's no crash log that comes up or nothing. It just goes straight to the desktop. So to prevent your GPU from reaching that temperature you're going to want to move this dot and look for the highlighted number below for 75 make sure it matches up with 100 and now what this will do is when your GPU reaches this temperature it will change the fan speed to 100 and I also have 80 Celsius here to 100 as well but this really doesn't matter because when it reaches 80 is actually when it crashes so that's why 75 Celsius is set to 100 and also make sure not to open this tool randomly just have it uh, only open when you're playing this game or any other game that seems to crash like this and once that's done you can hit apply now you're going to want to go to monitoring um, GPU 1 temperature left click that and then click show in on screen display 
go to on screen display and you can set this to whatever hotkey you want mine is set to num lock the actual button for the toggle um, the show on is set to the slash on the num lock and the hide is to hide the on screen display is set to the asterisk key so once those are set hit apply and ok and now when you open the game simply going to want to press the num lock key and then press or actually whatever hotkey you have and then press the hotkey to actually toggle it and now you can see your temperature at the top left and then you'll know if you're getting close to 80 so you can go ahead and save your game and it'll prevent you some headache for whenever it crashes so hopefully that helped you guys um, if you have any questions let me know and I'll have the MSI afterburner link in the description